Uh, it also kills cancer stem cells. It kills breast cancer stem cells, which is a awesome plus, uh, and, um, and it's really cool. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Dr. William Lee is a distinguished physician scientist renowned for his groundbreaking research in the field of cancer biology and angiogenesis, the process by which new blood vessels form in the body. His insights have revolutionized our understanding of how diet and lifestyle can influence cancer growth and progression. With a robust background in internal medicine and a specialization in oncology, Dr. Lee serves as the president and medical director of the Angiogenesis Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to advancing treatments for various diseases through angiogenesis modulation. His pioneering work has led to significant advancements in cancer treatment strategies, focusing particularly on the role of angiogenesis inhibitors in controlling tumor growth. Dr. Lee is widely recognized for his TED Talks and best-selling book, Eat to Beat Disease, which explores the concept of food as medicine and emphasizes the role of nutrition in disease prevention. His research has been published in prestigious scientific journals and has garnered international acclaim for its innovative approach to harnessing Thebody's natural defenses against diseases like cancer. Next, Dr. Lee will delve deeper into the specific findings from his cancer research, highlighting key dietary interventions and lifestyle changes that can support cancer prevention, particularly focusing on breast cancer and the natural compounds that have shown efficacy in targeting breast cancer stem cells. So the field of food as medicine is evolving to show us how what we eat can not only make us healthier, but it can even be a matter of life and death. And cancer researchers are now discovering just how powerful our foods can be. Dr. William Lee has just highlighted the incredible potential of food as medicine, emphasizing how powerful foods can be in targeting cancer. Now, he will introduce the first leaf that has shown remarkable efficacy in killing breast cancer cells. Let's delve into how this natural remedy could revolutionize cancer treatment. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Matcha, which is the whole leaf of green tea powdered up, has been found by researchers to kill breast cancer stem cells. Quite amazing. Um, those are the baby cells that help, that help the cancer keep going back. Um, but it does so much other as well as so anti-inflammatory, good for uh, uh, psoriasis and lowers stress as well. Dr. William Lee has just mentioned the profound ability of matcha in not only targeting breast cancer stem cells, but also in providing numerous other health benefits. Now, matcha is unique in that it is a powdered form of green tea, utilizing the entire leaf, which amplifies its health benefits. Next, Dr. Lee will elaborate on the various health benefits that matcha green tea offers beyond its cancer-fighting properties. Stay tuned as Dr. Lee explores the diverse health benefits of matcha green tea. Who hasn't heard of the benefits of green tea? We know tea has polyphenols, they're called catechins. We know one of the catechins is called EGCG. It's actually really, really good for you. Not only does it cut off the blood supplies to help starve cancers, not only is it anti-inflammatory, uh, not only does it help protect your stem cells so you can regenerate from the inside out, the, the, the fiber in green tea and some of the catechins, the catechin itself is actually a prebiotic, helps to nourish your, nourish your gut microbiome, take your gut bacteria, make it happy. It's antioxidant, good for your DNA, stimulates your immune system. It turns out when it comes to your body fat, the catechin actually fights white fat it actually helps you actually lose some of the subcutaneous jiggly stuff but more importantly it actually helps you lose visceral fat the harmful baseball glove fat that can be trapped even inside a skinny body so the bottom line is that green tea drinkers just metabolically are healthier dr lee has just outlined the remarkable benefits of matcha green tea matcha green tea is versatile and can be incorporated into various recipes to add a unique flavor and boost of antioxidants here are some suggestions on how to use matcha green tea in different dishes. Matcha latte, your favorite. Thanks. One, matcha latte. A popular and simple way to enjoy matcha is by making a matcha latte. Mix matcha powder with hot water or steamed milk dairy or plant-based and sweeten to taste with honey or maple syrup. You can also add a sprinkle of cinnamon or nutmeg on top. Two, smoothies. Add a teaspoon of matcha powder to your favorite smoothie recipe. It pairs well with fruits like a banana, mango, or pineapple. 
You can also combine it with spinach or kale for an extra boost of green goodness. 3. Match your overnight oats. Mix matcha powder into your overnight oats along with oats, milk or yogurt, and sweetener. Top with fruits, nuts, or seeds for added texture and flavor. 4. Matcha energy balls. Combine matcha powder with rolled oats, nut butter, honey, and a mix of seeds like shiar flaxseed. Roll into balls and refrigerate for a quick and healthy snack. 5. Matcha chia pudding. Mix matcha powder with coconut milk and chia seeds. Let it sit in the refrigerator ring to allow the chia seeds to absorb the liquid and create a pudding-like consistency. Serve with fresh berries on top. 6. Matcha ice cream. Incorporate matcha powder into a homemade ice cream base made with coconut milk ordery cream. Freeze according to your ice cream maker's instructions for a creamy and antioxidant-rich treat. Ice cream? Ice cream! 7. Matcha baked goods. Add matcha powder to your favorite baked goods such as cookies, muffins, or pancakes. It can provide a unique flavor profile and a vibrant green color. 8. Matcha salad dressing. Whisk matcha powder into a homemade salad dressing with olive oil, lemon juice, honey, and Dijon mustard. Drizzle over salads or use as a marinade for grilled vegetables. 9. Matcha yogurt. Mix matcha powder into plain yogurt and sweeten with honey or agave syrup. Top with granola and fresh fruits for a nutritious breakfast or snack. 10. Matcha rice or quinoa. Stir matcha powder into cooked rice or quinoa for a colorful and nutritious side dish. Serve with grilled fish or tofu for a complete meal. These are just a few ideas to incorporate matcha green tea into your diet creatively while enjoying its health benefits. Adjust the amount of matcha powder based on your preference for flavor and intensity. Now, before delving into the next leaf with potent health properties, let's hear Dr. Lee discuss his groundbreaking research in cancer. So, the, yeah. each of those mistakes, each of those 10,000 mistakes in a healthy person turns into a potential cancer. And cancers mm -hmm. stay tiny, teeny tiny and harmless, completely harmless, okay, in the body because they cannot grow any larger than the tip of a ballpoint pen. That's about two or three millimeters in diameter. They're stuck there because by themselves, they don't have a blood supply. They're not being fed by the highways and byways. So here's the diabolical nature of cancer. This was part of the research I did. Cancers outsmart the body they hi by hijacking our blood vessel system. They can hijack angiogenesis, grow blood vessels towards that teeny tiny little cancer. And in the lab, we were able to show that if you, uh, if you have a tumor that you prevent from ever getting a blood supply, it will just stay there, small, tiny. And then the immune system will wipe it right out, okay? But if you allow even one blood vessel to touch uh, the tumor to start feeding it, that cancer will grow 16 thousand times in size in just two weeks all right oh my gosh now, it's explosive growth um uh, and so uh in the same blood vessels that feed the cancer allow cancer cells to escape into the circulation as metastases so i told you how important good healthy blood vessels are but the reason mm. i got into the nutrition space was i started to realize that wow maybe there are some foods that can try to prevent tumors from getting their blood supply, anti-angiogenic foods that can cut off the blood supply feeding cancer. Dr. William Lee has just shared fascinating insights into how certain foods can starve cancer cells and contribute to his groundbreaking research on cancer prevention. His work highlights the profound impact of diet on cancer treatment and prevention. Now, Dr. Lee will delve into another powerful natural remedy, a leaf that has shown promising results in killing breast cancer stem cells. Stay tuned to learn more about this incredible discovery. -ter. Here I am uh, very excited to share with you something that's important if you like herbs and spices and you want to find out where something you may have heard about comes from. I'm always curious about that stuff. Um, one of the things that you might use for the fall holidays is bay leaves, right? Use bay leaves for sauces. You might use it for uh, flavoring. Uh, something that you're making in the oven, a roast or something of some sort, a stew. All right, I'm going to show you where bay leaves come from. This is a bay leaf shrub. It's an aromatic shrub. You can see this is exactly what you get. And I'm going to cut it. I'm going to show you. This is a friend of mine cutting it. All right, here it is, bay leaf. Now, 
There is bay leaves actually smell really nice. I'm gonna pick one off. And I think you gotta have to probably bust it open, peel it like that. It's aromatic and the smell comes from a, uh, a bioactive, an oily bioactive called uh, eugenol. Eugenol uh, is amazing because it uh, activates your stem cells. So it's a regenerative compound found in a, um, an herb that you actually use to pick from the garden from a shrub. And uh, it also kills cancer stem cells. It kills breast cancer stem cells, which is an awesome plus. Uh, and, um, and it's really cool. William Lee has just introduced us to the remarkable benefits of bay leaves, showcasing their potential to combat cancer cells according to recent studies. Now, let's explore some creative ways to incorporate bay leaves into our daily diet. Oh, I know! It needs some bay leaves! Bay leaves are incredibly versatile and can enhance the flavor of various dishes. Here are a few ideas. 1. Soups and stews. Add a couple of dried bay leaves to soups, stews, and broths while cooking. They infuse a subtle herbal aroma and flavor into the dish. 2. Rice and grains. Include bay leaves when cooking rice, quinoa, or other grains. They impart a savory undertone that complements the grains beautifully. 3. Marinades and sauces. Use bay leaves in marinades for meats or vegetables. They add depth to the flavor sand help tenderize the ingredients. 4. Infused oils and vinegars. Create infused oils or vinegars by steeping bay leaves in olive oil or vinegar. Use sethis in salad dressings or drizzle over cooked dishes. 5. Herbal teas. Make a soothing herbal tea by steeping dried bay leaves in hot water. It's a calming drink that Al suffers potential health benefits. Remember to remove bay leaves before serving your dishes, as they are tough and can be a choking hazard if consumed whole. Please consider giving us a thumbs up sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.